Uniting over tragedy. Good evening, I'm Julie O'Neill. Hundreds gathered outside Lakota West High School's football field tonight to honor the life of Matt Stratman. The teen died this morning, three weeks after suffering a stroke following a lacrosse game. Not on your side's Jake Weil joins us with the message the Stratman family wanted to send. Well, we now know Matt Stratman died just as the sun was rising Saturday morning and before the sun set, hundreds gathered here at Lakota West High School, all with one message. When it happens, it's your, your stomach just drops and it takes your breath away and there's just absolutely no way to prepare for it. Scott Kaufman got the text from Matt Stratman's dad. It's the initial shock and, and then you kind of switch gears. Okay, what do we have to do for our kids? Stratman, a Lakota West student, died after being in a coma for three weeks following a lacrosse match on June 9th. Hours after his death, hundreds gathered to remember. You honor his memory by living in, in what, what was important to him. Uh, he was an energetic, motivated young kid who just, you know, made the, made the most out of every day. Kaufman received a text from Stratman's dad. This is the message he wanted folks to know. Hugging your kids a little, a little tighter. You know, one of the texts that I got from dad tonight was the last words that Matt said to him were, I love you, dad. Um, and, and we all need to say that to each other a little bit more. Uh, hug our kids a little tighter and say I love you a little more often and, and don't take anything for granted because tomorrow isn't promised. For Lakota West Principal Elgin Card. I have four daughters and uh, sometimes you're upset with your kids and things happen, but it's truth, hug your babies because you never know. A 15 year old's life, friends say, was taken too soon. They say it's never too soon to tell loved ones. Never take those three words for granted as Matt's last spoken words to me were, love you dad. When I dropped him off at a friend's house and I simply responded, as always, love you too, Matt man. And we do know there will be a community gathering Sunday afternoon from 2 to 4 at Center Point Christian Church. We'll have more information on WCPO.com. For now, reporting in Westchester, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.